there. Today we'll show you how we managed to speed up the RX580 video card from a Zeus by using some rather accessible means. As you may know, there's several ways to overclock a video card. We'll go through these and detail out what helped us. First of all, about the card. This is RX580 from Asus with a Samsung memory chip. The manufacture of the module is very important when it comes to mining and overclocking. Asus claims that this card can go beyond 32 mega hashes when mining Ethereum, so we decided to test that out. To start off with, we have updated the BIOS, then we raised the memory frequency and changed the power limit, but we only got 31.59 mega hashes. From this point onwards, we began wondering why the card wouldn't speed up further. It could be because of the memory, but the memory should overclock better since it's from Samsung. Maybe it's the memory power supply. So we decided to find out what could be wrong with it. We carefully soldered the wire to the memory power supply chip, aiming to avoid inflicting any damage. To check the readings, we will be using a multimeter, which gives us a reading of 1.522 volts. And there is the question, what is the optimal value? We have cards from other producers and voltage of those is higher. Additionally, it runs on the micro memory, which overclocks less efficiently than Samsung. Therefore, we have to raise the voltage, but how? We concluded that in the trim of the memory power management system, we need to take this exact resistor and resolder it. As we can see, the video card has a rather poor cooling system. There is no direct contact between the memory and the power supply system. Let's perform the work and find out what changed. Now we can see that there is a change in the millivolts of the power supply of the memory. The number is now 1.6 volts which gives us a high speed but also an increase in heat production. Our hash rate is now at 32.46. For the card to hold the required overclocking parameters, we need to use a liquid cooling system. The factory setup of the card doesn't even take care of moderate workload, but we will show you another DIY method. So, we take one server cooler, make a tube from them to form a box and fix all that to a test stand. Let's now switch on the cooler and speed the system up. We're now getting a 34.21 mega hash reading. Let's take a look at a thermal image reader to find out how the card is performing. The GPU is at 68 degrees Celsius and the temperature on the memory module is 66.3 degrees. So here we have it, a unique way to overclock a RX580 card from ASUS. We in Kamino are testing various ways of modifying and overclocking different video cards to create the most efficient system we can. Thank you for watching the video. If you found this video useful, do like and share. Leave your comments below and sign up to our channel for more content. Goodbye for now.